Hello guys, welcome back. I'm really excited to see you again after this amazing summer that I had. I hope you had a fantastic summer too. It started off from right from the top because it started off with the shooting of Emotional Disease, which is the project that you helped me make. So thank you so much. So in this video, I just wanted to give you a quick update about what the pro how the project's going and coming along and everything. Um, but before that, I actually wanted to share with you what the last week of pre-production was like because I never got to tell you. And actually, the last week of pre-production is always one of those times where it's this emotional roller coaster when you have to do all these things and you don't know how you're gonna do it, but then you find the time. So that's sort of what it felt like for me because during that week, we had meetings with the whole team, rehearsals, we had to find the props, so many things. So there were basically three main challenges that we had to, to take care of. So the first one uh, was in the artistic department, which was led by my friend Hulu, who is the art director. Hulu, ¿qué tal está la cosa? Muy complicado. Muy complicado. I will tell him, hey, I need this prop, and then he will, he will come up with a better idea or a more specific idea of what we need so for example we needed to find a toaster right a toaster for one of the scenes that it's in in the short and then I told him hey I have this toaster and he's like well I think we need a more like futuristic toaster right so we searched online and there were some amazing cool things there but obviously we don't have a super big budget so what we came up with was to do an audition um, toasters. So we had an open call, a casting call for toasters and our friends and family basically sent us all these pictures that you see here and in the, in the end we ended up selecting my aunt's toasters so that was quite fun. And so the second challenge that we have um, also within the artistic department was finding a table because all the tables were so expensive. So we ended up going to Leroy Merlin and um, finding a way to make a really cheap um, made up table, but in the end it worked really well. Parece en plan pensar en comprar una mesa de verdad para mudar una casa. Imposible. And I really have to thank my dad because. Um, wow, that day was like a race. They were about to close the store and then he came and picked us up and then we went to the set to drop off all the equipment there. Then the second challenge was having meetings with mostly everyone to make sure that uh, we were aligned and we were ready in order to shoot on Sunday because we started, the last week of pre-production started on Monday and we were shooting on Sunday. So during all these days, we had a really busy calendar. Then the third challenge, one of the things that um, we took care of, of during the last week of pre-production was makeup and costumes. So Maria took care, took care of the costumes and Julia took care of the makeup and they did a fantastic job. Like I, I was just thrilled uh, looking how everything was just coming together because if you're a director and a writer and you have this idea in your head, it's in your head, but then once you tell the whole team and you see how they bring in their ideas, then it builds the character and it enriches the story and that's what I was feeling when I was seeing um, all the costumes and all the makeup. Uh, I don't know, I mean, I think I have to do a, a whole video just on the shoot because so many things happened and, and basically to summarize, we had a lot of fun and everything came out as expected. We have a couple of anecdotes that you can, you can ask me about in a different video. But yeah, so right now, from June until now, my editor Diego and I have been putting together the short, finding different options, and we're about to close the, the montage. We did seven ver versions, and now we have to do the color correction, the special effects, sound mixing, and just make sure that we really polish this, because I'm very proud of everyone's work, and I think that we need to take care take very good care of these last few steps in order to have a great short. I'm going to try to have the short film uh, ready as soon as possible and thank you so much for all your support. Bye, thanks!